real. This is real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm, and it took me a minute. Like it took me a long while to right. get in there. All right. Yeah. That's how I felt about weed. The first time I tried weed was like. Uh, I remember my friends kept telling me, hey, let's go smoke weed. And I'm like, nah, I don't know if it's for me. And then I was like, all right. I remember telling them like, all right, I think I'm going to smoke weed with you guys this weekend. Because they kept talking about it every day at school. Mm. And we're at his fucking, his dad's like shed that's kind of like a, Sick ass shed. a workout like half-ass workout room but it's a shed and it's got like a bench and everybody's sitting down and my friends there and i remember they were like oh give them a green whatever the fuck that meant the bong was like a fresh like greens is fresh yeah fresh, fresh. and i remember it was called sour diesel i remember oh, yeah. that they kept talking about it sour d and i remember like all right and i remember it had a bunch of like white flakes on it mm -hmm. so i remember going like is that normal i'm already in my head going like is that normal i don't know if that's normal and then i was like smoking it I remember out of a bong and I was just like get get little like moments and I pull up and I'll blow and it was like a little bit. They're like, no, no, keep your mouth on it. And I was like, all right. So and then you no know, bubbling and stuff. And it's like, I remember they kept saying like, dude, it's milk it up. Good, dude. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that meant. I'm like, like <laughs> so I'm trying to impress my friends now. And I'm like, and I go, and then I'm like really getting like, I remember it's all white. And then they're like, all right, ready? one big hit. And I'm like, okay. And I remember going, and then he just goes <laughs> And I remember that moment Everything was just like <laughs> And I'm like What? I tried to talk What? <laughs> and it was just like this Pain in the back of my throat Like And we're going ah, <laughs> And everybody's just like laughing huh. and This asshole right here Like <laughs> Fuck you're in it dude it's Sick asshole dude And I remember just going like What the fuck is going on? Like what the they're like, oh, dude, you're fucking, you're, you're going to be high. Like, wait 10 minutes, you're going to be fucking high. And all I kept worrying about was my throat. Like, uh, my throat hurts, my throat hurts. And I remember starting looking at the corner, and I was like, how come every corner, it's always dark? Mm -hmm. like, there's never a light in a corner. It's always like a dark. So then I get up, and I remember going looking at it. I'm like, why is it dark? <laughs> and I look back, and everybody's laughing. He's high. And that's when I'm like, oh, shit, I'm high. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, no, nah, I'm, I'm high now. Like, this yeah. is like. And then I started the paranoia kicked in because I was already like a little like conscious about people. But now I feel like ever since I tried weed, I became more paranoid mm. because uh, it just opened up this door in my mind where I'm like, oh, I'm paranoid now. Because then I was like thinking, did they drug me? Like, obviously, they drug me. But <laughs> did, they did they put something else? Was it crack? What was those white crystals? Was it something else? Holy shit, is it, are they fucking with me? And they're all laughing at me like, are they my friends? Hold on, why would my friends do that? Like, what the fuck? And I started questioning. I'm like looking at one of my best friends and I was trying to fight him. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And he's like, what? So chill, dude. And I'm like, nah, something's up. Like, am I going to get my mind? What if my mind never comes back? And I just started questioning everything. And so I'm not funny. enjoying it no more. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right, I'm done. I'm over it. When does it stop? They're like, Whenever your mind wants it to stop, and I'm like, "Fuck <laughs> that, dude! I need it. I cried, I need this shit to stop. I like, need this." And then there's like the hippie friends who's like, "Dude, chill out. It's gonna stop when you want it to stop, man." Like, "Fuck, dude." <laughs> we ordered pizza, and I was, I remember, I smushed the. I was like, "Why are we eating pizza like this normally? Like, why well, come? Who says that that's the right way to eat it? What if I want to eat it from the side? So I ate it from the side. I was all rebelling. I remember, dude, I remember I got a slice oh. and then I squeezed the pizza and it came out of my knuckles and I remember eating it out of my knuckles. <laughs> and then my friends were like, why are you doing it, dude? And I'm like, I'm going to eat it the way I want to eat it. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to eat it the way you want me to. Yeah. Anyway, so that was my week. Dude, story. that's so funny. Nothing like your DMT. Did you ever get high, Evan? No, I still haven't. Don't um, do it, dude. Yeah, Wait till you're Don't 25. do it, man. No, I'm telling you. Huh? You're 25, try it. That's it. Yeah, 25 would be like the... That's when your brain stops developing. The weed is, is definitely like, you know, when you're drinking, it's like, oh, you're drunk and you just feel sloppy. Weed is like, you're like, oh, this is a drug, right? Like when you're on weed, you're like, oh, I, I, I like it sounds stupid, but it does feel like drinking was like, oh, this is cool. But weed is like, oh, this is a drug. Yeah. This is, I understand what they're saying. Like, this is like, you're out of your own head. You're like in this weird, you're not in control anymore. Mm. Something's now in control. And you're like, oh, fuck. And weed is just like your muscles feel weird, everything feels weird. You're just like in a weird world where you're more creative, I guess. You can if you take it the positive route, you can be more creative. Yeah. 
I used to just do. jam out for like eight hours, dude. I would just play music all day long, stoned as fuck. Yeah, because I was like, I remember like being paranoid, and then I was like, there's times where I did enjoy it, and I remember I enjoyed it. Like when you want to enjoy it, you'll enjoy, you enjoy it. it. Yeah, yeah, like movies will seem cooler. Music seems like you're hearing every sound of that song. Just when you eat, you feel like you're tasting everything. You're like, holy shit. If you use it in a positive light. Yeah. But you can also, if you're in a dark place, you can go in a dark place with the trip. It cures COVID. <laughs> yeah, dude. <sighs> Anyways, well. No, it's it's pretty dope. I, uh, I Point of this fucking, the, the message of this fucking podcast was, uh, it don't matter. Dude. It don't Nothing matter. matters, dude. Nothing matters, dude. Nothing matters, dude. Matters, dude. Nah, everything uh, matters. It, it's, it can go both ways. Yeah. Nothing matters. Everything matters. It's like, you know. Yeah. You know what's funny? I had that feeling without even doing dmt i was just under i had that understanding without doing the dmt it's like that thinking of like nothing matters and i also thought like this sounds this is gonna sound really hippie-ish but i had a moment where i realized like uh there's more out there than what we're like we're being distracted so like something's distracting. I think life is just distracting us and bills and all. This is a distraction to like. There's something more meaningful out there that we're not tapping into. Yeah. yeah. And that's that matters. And then this, I feel like this world that we're living, like the pain, of it, that doesn't matter. But for some reason, something is telling us like, oh, this is important. For so like, I don't know. That's just my. I'm word. really surprised you've never done shrooms, honestly. Uh, cause, uh, I think the weed was enough to awaken doors and made me observe a lot that I'm like, all right, I don't want to know more. Yeah. Cause then I'll feel like, I feel like I'll be the guy that's like living under a bridge. Like I'm lost in the sauce. Yeah. Like I am fucking. Well, that's cocaine, dude. That's like, that's the uppers. But psychedelics, I don't consider drugs. I mean, I'm not going to smoke weed, you know? Yeah. I've I had friends that have been on and it's just been weird ever since. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to. I so that it, it scared me. Like I had a guy in the neighborhood that like tried it and was and was like a kid for like a month, and then snapped out of it after that. And we're like, whoa, that was weird. Like he was playing with little car toys. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, but if you're taking a shit ton of mushrooms, it's gonna. Also, suck. he did take a little. You shit have to ton take like, yeah. you have to take a small amount. You can't yeah. like overdose on mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> that'll fuck your brain up. But like well, for me, I did DMT when I was sober, like a second time, mm. and when it started happening, I stopped. I was like, oh fuck, I. You, I completely forget what it's like because then you go back to that place and you're like, oh, no, 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 I don't need this. Like, it helped me with a lot of shit back then, but I was doing it for, like, sport oh, the second yeah, time. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm... Oh, I'm, you're like, oh, I've been in this place. I don't want to come back here. Yeah, 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 dude. I was in that yeah. waiting room thing where everything's moving, and I was like, oh, no, 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 dude, no, 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 no. <laughs> the waiting room? Was like, <laughs> Yeah, that's what they call it. <laughs> like the way you call it. The, the waiting DMT room. Wait, yeah, uh, that's crazy. Uh, that's waiting funny. room. That's funny. Dude, so uh, it's getting intense right now in the streets, uh, the hip hop streets. You know, mm. here's the thing about me. You know, Daddy, Daddy loves his rock and roll. Daddy loves his indie music. Daddy likes to cut Nirvana off knee shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, Daddy also likes his hip hop. And hip hop right now is intense. There's a war going on. Yeah, yep. civil war. Silver war going on in hip hop with Kendrick Lamar dissing. Uh, calling out Drake and and, and Jay Cole. Cole. Yeah. That that one, that one was a weird one for me. What was the line? It was uh, there is no big three. There's only big me. Whew. At first, I was like, I was still like, no, guys, he's not dissing Jay Cole. He's just talking. Yeah. But I'm like, hearing it over and over. I'm like, yeah, he's dissing Jay Cole. He's asking for the smoke. All right. And uh, so yeah, that that one. What, who are you guys gonna go for? What's going on? What are we thinking? I know I'm you're a big Drake fan. You got his I, fucking I, shoes and underwear. I, I am a big Drake fan, but I think I'm a bigger Kendrick fan. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's it's rude to try to pit us against two uh, fucking good musicians. Yeah. That's kind of rude. Like, Tupac and Biggie are dead because of that shit. For real. Right. But their beef was different. Yeah, yeah, that was more the like, '90s beef was more. Yeah, the yeah. '90s it beef was, was like gang beef. Yeah, now, yeah. Beef, now, now beef this is, is like this is like who has more Instagram followers. Now beef is like whose dick is bigger, and Drake <laughs> is fucking killing it in that department. Dog. He's got a slinky on him, dude. He's yeah, fucking, his uh, his. That's how Kendrick's gonna come back. Kendrick's gonna drop an OnlyFans. Yeah. to be Drake. He's got a fucking paquete, homie. He's got a fucking. He's, he's got, got the, He's got gills on his dick. The fuck. 
<laughs> dude, Drake's fucking flop was like intense for me. I was like, oh my god! Imagine when that thing wakes up. This will. <laughs> <laughs> I think was sleeping. Imagine when he wakes Imagine up. Imagine when he clocks in, dude. He yeah. clocks in. It's going to be a fucking massive fucking problem, dude. He's going to wake up the dragon, bro. Chale tamale, dude. Chale. Uh, that's a tense, dude. Uh, also, it's like... Here's the thing. I know that nothing's going to happen. And here's why. These are my predictions. Because Drake learned... Because he, he put out a statement saying, like, oh, I'm not going to, like, f- a fall for her. Like, I'm not going to touch on it because mm-hmm. it's like... Because you know, Kendrick will fuck me. him up. But he's no, still like, yeah. It's like he's like he said something about like, nah, it's, it's beneath me. Like I, I'm too, I'm too busy enjoying my life on tour to like take time off to like to address it to address it, right? And I started thinking, I was like, if I was Drake, this is what's going on with Drake. Drake never been in a beef like that. He been in a beef with Meek Mills, and it's just like that was just a little quick rap beef, and realized that Meek Mills is just like probably high in his own world and just started talking shit. It wasn't prepared. It wasn't a prepared like beef, right? What I mean by that is because Pusher T was prepared. Mm-hmm. Pusher T said a couple of lines, and then fucking Drake reacted to it, and there was a and realized that when a real person, when you're really going to war, it's all strategic and it's all prepared, and it's like you fucking took the bait, mm-hmm. and then he fucking went at him. And then he fucking came at him with the baby because he had that info. Yeah. So Drake was like, oh, shit. And he realized, like, oh, next time somebody talks shit, is it because they have something, the like, they got a fucking, you know, they hit you with the left, they got a yeah. right hand ready to fucking hit you with something else. So I think Drake is trying to buy some time to realize what does Kendrick know or what does he have that he will use against me. Okay, number two. So he's going to put some words out, ears out in the streets and be like, yo, follow, figure out what he, information he has. And also, I think he's going to put, some years, uh, some years in the streets, and try to get information off of Kendrick, so he can come back and do what Pusha yeah. T did to him, you know. So yeah. I think that's what's going on. He's buying time. I think the person who's gonna fucking take the bait and just gonna go for it is J Cole, mm-hmm. and he's such a nice guy that I kind of feel like God, Cole. Like I'm, I'm not. I would like to see more Drake and Kendrick go at it, cause I like uh, Drake. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's what you, that's why you yeah I like Drake as the, the, the fucking the monstro <laughs> no because I, I thought it was like he's a great writer he's fucking smart he's like quick he's like got good sound I just I, I like him but can he be a, a like a a really like dope rapper though can he be yeah. like a what do you call that uh those rappers are they're more conscious rap yeah conscious I want to see Drake tap into that world can mm-hmm. he do it can mm-hmm. he be very fucking creative with it you know mm-hmm Cause like Kendrick, Kendrick can do it. Yeah. So he's one of my favorites because of it. So, in my opinion, it's Kendrick and Drake is like Disney versus Nickelodeon. We got to figure out who's touching kids first, right? <sighs> and then you can pick sides, dog. Nice. That's what I think. Nice. Okay. In my opinion, I'm not saying either of them touch kids, but yeah, I, was I, was like, like, I opinion, can't get the image of them touching kids, dude. Yeah. The fuck? No, Disney is like Drake. But fucking, I was always a Nickelodeon kid, yeah. dude. You know gotcha. what I mean? Gotcha. Which one's, yeah, which one hits hard? I don't know. The thing is, like, when I listen, when I listen to Drake, it's a vibe. It's cool. It's, I'm enjoying myself. Mm. Right? You're not thinking about it too much. When I listen to Kendrick, he's, like, speaking, and he hits, he has, a, like, a line that would just be like, damn. Yeah. There's yeah. times where Drake is like speaking at me and yeah. Kendrick is like speaking for me sometimes where I'm yeah, like, damn, yeah. this fool gets it, dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Kendrick is tapped into something that is a human experience. Drake is telling you what his life is like. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I, I can give a fuck less. I do like it though. I love fucking back to back is one of my favorite songs of all time. That was a good one. Back to back was great. Back to back was a, a fire. Like fucking when it comes to like beef and shit back mm. and forth. I think it was like one of the hardest uh, like records that came out from like a, a beef. Yeah, yeah. The first one was probably hit him up. I think that one was like because yeah, it wasn't like submiss. It was like to you, like so I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> that's how it starts. Yeah, dude, that's 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 crazy. Yeah, yeah. that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Cash money, <laughs> cash money. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, like that's fucking crazy. Yep. So. And then Drake just freaking like it's not it's not your a world tour it's your girls tour like 
Damn. The trigger fingers to Twitter fingers? God damn. <laughs> That's a fucking monster ass line. And you fuck did it. He just keeps going. He just makes another one. <laughs> Poor fucking Meek Mills, dude. Meek yeah. Mills can't even bounce back on that. It's like, God damn, he's got that whole Diddy situation. Did you hear the, the audio of them smashing? What? Yeah, can I play the audio? I'll yeah. Again. Oh, no? I'm uh, gonna, anyways. You can cut it. Yeah, dude, I, I need know. to hear this, dude. No, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put it. I don't care, dude. I'll listen to it later too. I'll, I'll put on some like some music over it. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? What was that? That's something, something else I found. I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. That was the link I saved earlier. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready? <laughs> They're saying this is real. They're saying this is circling around. They're saying that that's what's on the, the, the recording. And they're just showing the audio right now. They can't show the recording because it's going to be in court or whatever. No way. Yeah. I guess the photographer is like suing because he's like, he said that he was forced to record these sessions and he didn't want to. That's why he's like suing P. Diddy. And they were like, well, what's the proof? And he's like, I, I guess submitted like the audio to court and I guess it got leaked somehow. And everybody's just like going crazy. Oh my god, dude! Yeah. That's how they put a. It's fucking, the you know what it is. They it's, put a beat to that, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what it is for me? It's the uh, oh 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 oh. It's like oh, I can only imagine what that was doing. Yeah, he's a <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a jackrabbit. Fucking, yeah, that's a that's fuck, a lot of uh-ohs, that's dude. That's a fucking jackrabbit right there, dude. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, dude, and obviously we know who's fucking taking the pound. We know who's taking the pound, right? Yeah. Do you know Evan? Yeah. No, 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 no. Who do you think is getting pounded up? Diddy. Nah. No? Is Meek Meek? No? I think Meek is pounding. That's wild. No, no, no. Oh, I okay, think, so I Diddy's think Diddy is pounding and Meek is taken. Oh, my God, dude. That's what I think is going what on. What the fuck world do we live in, dude? <sighs> so, so you're telling me Meek Mill did DMT, dude? <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, he did it, and he said, "You know what, dude? It don't matter." Dude. There's audio of me I can get on DMT out here, dude. What the fuck? Did That's he, did he give him DMT and fucked him? <laughs> yeah, that would be a fucked up thing. If your shaman starts fucking you, like, like it's your friend smashing you. I didn't fuck you, dude. It was your shaman, dude. It was your shaman. It was your fucking spirit. The shaman's DMT like guy. the drugs were for you. This is for me. <laughs> 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 You're fucking gross, dude. No, you, you know another thing that doesn't feel real is the whole Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Yeah, like there's, oh. there's no. Did you hear? Did you hear about like the supposed like rules that they came out with? No. So th this is going around on on TikTok and Twitter supposedly, and my friend showed me this. And I like this segment. It's gonna yeah. call beef. And it's like <laughs> <The> beefs. <laughs> I'm like he show, he told me the rules or like what was in the contract. And I was like, there's no way that this is the real like contract. And he's like, well, this is what's out. Everybody's talking about it, and nobody's like disproving. It. Like nobody said like this is false. But apparently, Jake can wear headgear. Uh, Tyson can't. What? That's supposedly like in the contract. Another part. <laughs> this is when I knew that this was fucking fake. Because there's absolutely there's like zero shot. Is that at any point Jake can tag team in Logan? Yeah, that's fake. It's fake, that's right? That's not real. And, like, and he's telling me this, and he's like, "Yeah, like everybody's mm -hmm. talking about, like nobody's like, and, like nobody said it's not true." It was like, "Bro, like you're you're not hearing yourself." He can tag team in Logan to fight Mike Mike Tyson. Like, there's no fucking shot. No. And then like the third rule was like, uh, what? Tyson, Tyson has to weigh in at like 165, and then there's no weigh in or drug test for Jake, and that he could be whatever weight and he can take whatever. No, it's this like I'm. Uh, he's telling me this. I'm like, there's absolutely. And he's like, dude, nobody's nobody's just proving it. Like that's what everybody's saying. Like those are the rules. I mean, I, I do think that that Jake Paul does some weird ass rules. I do feel like it's underground rules. Like it's like, yo, if you let me f knock you out, I'll give you like a percentage of the winnings. I yeah. think that's what's going. I really do think that's what's going on. I don't know. I feel like if Mike Tyson gets beaten by Jake Paul, like, no, it's gonna discredit all his. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. What's gonna happen is like he's gonna let him. I think he's. Genuinely seeing like I'm willing to fight Mike Tyson for the the fame, like I'm yeah. gonna like be famous forever. Like after that, yeah, he's gonna be known as the guy. He's like, I don't care, fuck it. But now I'm gonna be so big that like 
I'm going to be talked about. He's going to drop merch. So he's like, he's going to make so much money off of that not getting his ass beat. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those is like, I'm willing to get my ass beat to get the biggest payday of my fucking yeah. life. And I think he's like willing to do that. He's like, fuck it. There's I don't no think way. I have to work. He's going to make a hundred million dollars off of that. Yeah. There's no way the aesthetic is Jake Paul in a, in headgear. There's no way that's going to be what we see. If they're going to box, it's going to be an actual boxing match. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. He was telling me this. I was like, there's there's no way. Yeah. No, that can't be the rules. It could just be more because they're promoting this every day. Yeah. I'm, I don't have a boxing algorithm on my fucking Instagram. No, me neither. And I still but see, I that see it every day. I still see it. Yeah. Every basketball page I follow fucking has. Is this, talking about it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to just be something that sell, obviously, pay-per-view buys. Yeah. And I want to watch it. You know Yeah. I mean? I'm, I'm like. I haven't watched boxing and I want to watch this shit. Yeah. I want to see Mike Tyson fuck this fool up. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to see. I would really want to see Mike Tyson like fuck this fool up. Yeah. And then see him relapse afterwards and like buy tigers again. He's like, I'm <laughs> back, motherfucker. <laughs> buy his you know? fucking ear back, off. Motherfucker. He's just like, yeah, like Jake Paul just released a demon in fucking yeah. Tyson. And he just, I didn't here. want to do this, Mr. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do this, Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul. <laughs> Mr. Paul. I, didn't want, I really, I really feel bad about doing this. Yeah, <laughs> that would that would be awesome though if we could just get one more Mike Tyson fucking t- twelve second knockout, dude. Just dunk. Oh. Well, the videos. Have you guys seen the videos of him yeah. training? Yeah, he looks insane. He's so quick. So yeah. fine. I mean, yeah, he, like, he looks. He looks great. I mean, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he's so fast for sixty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. How old is he? He's like sixty, right? Uh, probably fifty something. Something. 50s? Let me see. Yeah, because, dude, I'm seeing these videos, and I'm like, dude, he's quick. Yeah, I mean, he had, I mean, he's been fighting all his life, dude. Yeah. How old is, too old? I mean, uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> but, you know, he's not really fighting. 57. But 57, he's not. yeah. He, yeah, dude, he's been fighting all his life, but he's not, he hasn't had, like, the biggest fight of his life. You don't think so? Which was his sexuality. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting my sexuality. I'm fighting my lip. Yo, that guy's a wild guy to get a tattoo in your face like that. He was like the first guy to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? I remember how nuts it was, dude. This was, was nuts. in diapers when he got the tattoo. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. When yeah. I remember when he got the tattoo, everyone was like, oh, my God. Who, who, he is a criminal. That's that's the mark of the devil on his face. Mm. Fucking. Oh, people were saying that? Oh, yeah. Like, back in the day, it was crazy that he got a tattoo on his face. Because he was also a different Mike. Ty- he was Iron Mike. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, he was saying I'll fucking eat your children, I'll fucking yeah, yeah. and I was like, what yeah. the fuck? I'll fuck dude? you till you love me, person. I'm not gonna say the oh, word. Shit, yeah. person, dark person. <laughs> F with for gay people. <laughs> for gay, F with for gay people. Yeah, that's that's a that, that's wild, dude. That's heavy. Yeah. 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 What, what, have you ever been into conspiracies or no? I think we talked about this, but like, uh, like I don't know. Like, there's some some stuff that I can like kind of like get behind or like see. Like I'm like my like feed isn't like really like conspiracy coded, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. But like Do you care? Nah, it's whatever, man. You see that he's at that age where he's like, I'm just I'm enjoying my life right now. Like the fact that he can go and eat whatever he wants at midnight, it's like his life right now. Yeah. yeah. You know, Dude. he doesn't have to ask anybody for permission to do anything. He likes that shit right now. He when, can go chill with girls and that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. When I was your age, fool, fuck shit. Damn, though. When I was your age, no, I was out here. Yeah, uh, my phone didn't You even... couldn't catch me, homie. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't work your phone unless you fucking did something to the screen first. That, oh, you know right, know dude. You That's either had right. the flip phone or you had the fucking swivel thing. My iPhone had a bun on it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, crack it down. No, but was... like, I see like the, like the Andrew Tate, like, Shit like the like, yeah. oh we're all in the matrix and we're all being controlled like I don't believe in all that shit like that's I think that's shit stupid yeah but I'm talking about the classics dude the like moon. Earth is flat no that's not a classic no 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 nah, no the classic is like what the the moon JFK oh fucking oh I, I got some yeah, shit yeah, to say yeah, about yeah. JFK I think some I think some weird shit is going on with that this fool dies right now oh, he's just <laughs> like, <laughs> like what what the yeah. fuck happened JFK <laughs> okay. yeah yeah what? what do you think about JFK <sighs> I don't know I watched this like three hour long video on like explaining like. Uh, like oh. where the shooter is, like in the building. How like and we're know. all looking at him like. So you welcome, are in the conspiracy. conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is what just, I'm talking just about. Just this one, just this one, just okay. the JFK one. Just I, I feel like he video. just learned about this. Like <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, oh yeah, that's the conspiracy. Yeah, I yeah. love to see it though. I'm like, yeah. yes. Yeah, because like there's like the whole thing and like on what floor he was on. It was like, was it like the like the third floor, like the fourth floor? Like was he on the hill? 
And it's like mm-hmm. there's like all these like they can't get like a witness account or like everybody says something different. Where it's like, oh, he was on the fourth floor. Like I saw him on the fourth floor, but there's like there was the workers on the fourth floor. He had to be on the third floor. And like so like somebody asked me, one of my friends asked me, he was like, if you can go to any like historical point and like be like a fly on the wall, like like where would you go? And I was like that day. Like yeah. I, like I would be really? there. I would like to see, see where who if it was Leon got murked. Uh, see first of all, see if it was actually. The guy, like Leon Lee Harvey Oswald, Lee Harvey Oswald, Oswald. 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 Lee Harvey Oswald. and like from where, like with what? I don't know. He's like close enough. He's Lee, like Lee Osmond, Lee Harvey Lee Osmond. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would go back. Have you been time. to Dallas? No, no I, haven't, I haven't been there. So I've been to Dallas, and I've been in that little like I was there, like, and it's so crazy when you when you go to these places and you see how. Like small everything is, mm. like that building is fucking small as fuck, dude. Yeah, it's only four stories. Yeah, it's small. It's like you yeah. look at it. I'm like, okay, you know this building that's next to us. It's mm. like that. It's like it looks just like small. Yeah, yeah. and then the street is like across the street. You're like, oh, it's like everything happened so small. Yeah. Like he didn't need a rifle. He could have done it with a pistol. Like you know what I mean, that's how yeah. close it was. But I'm like, yeah. So it is a trip to see it, and you're kind of like, oh, but you can tell like. What I'm tripping out about is like, how did nobody like see the shooter? Like, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, like all those people there, and like nobody could get like a hundred percent accurate yeah. testimony of where he was. But it is a trip, like where it was at, because there's so many walls, mm-hmm. and this guy was out there. Some hippie dude, so he's, he's all. They said it was multiple shooters, but it could have been one shot because uh, the walls are bouncing, and then he had like this little like clacker thing. He's like watching it. He's like. And then, like, you can hear, like, pop, pop. It sounded like, so close your eyes. Tell me where it came from. Mm. And I'm like, holy shit. It was, you can just hear it from, like, and we're all wrong. And he's and like, he's it like, came from here. Yeah. doesn't matter. Doesn't it's matter. Like, doesn't matter, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, shit, dude, that, that was pretty crazy. If I could go back in time to any point in time, I would go back to Napoleon and see if you really fucked, like, Joaquin Phoenix did <sighs> in that movie, dude. That was wild. You saw that? Oh, you never saw the movie? I haven't seen the movie because what took me out of it was the fact that he didn't have an accent. I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of oh, here. Oh, that's a good movie, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Dude. I need an accent. He was a horn dog. You would love him. Oh, yeah. That's my, <laughs> my kind of guy, dude. That's my kind of guy. No, I would probably go back in time and chill with the dinosaurs, dude. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs would be dope. Yeah. 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 Who would I do? I'm autistic. I want to see dinosaurs. <laughs> um, Where would you go, dude? I don't know. Cool. I would go and watch Richard Pryor. To be honest with you, like, like Titanic. The Titanic, dude, I had a homie that was like balls deep in the Titanic for his whole life. He just had his know. whole room titanic out. Yeah. Sorry, I was talking while you were thinking. Yeah, dude. And you know what? I was like kind of pissed about it. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be in the 50s, no matter in time or day. Like, I just want to be in the 50s. I want to really? live. I wish I, I would have, if I could choose like a, like, what do you call it? Century? The era. Era? Mm. Decade. Century. An era in time, it would be the 50s. Mm. The 50s seemed like it's simple enough for me. It's chill enough. And it's like, I think I would like thrive in the 50s. Right. <laughs> you know I feel like now, you know, you know I feel like down right now 50s, it's right? like, huh? You know what's going down in the 50s, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of bus stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I get it. I get it. But I feel like I would thrive. I feel like, I feel like people... This fool would be the milkman and just fucking. Nah, I feel like I would. I would like I, my own my little. My, I would own a business. I would just have my shit under control. I feel like I would. Con- I can convince white people to be like nice to me and be like, "Oh, this guy actually, we like this brown guy." Yeah, I feel like they wouldn't be racist to me. I don't know. This is this is my thoughts. I don't know. I think. <laughs> I, I don't think I think I can convince. I, maybe, I, I, maybe I, I hung out with a couple maybe of California. I hung out with a couple of uh, uh, white guys that are just like, oh, I usually don't hate fucking brown people. You're fucking funny. Dude. I like this guy. I'm like, yeah, I'm a cool guy, dude. Yeah, maybe he California. Brown people, yeah, yeah, he's cool. brown people, but he loves me, dude. So I don't know what the fuck. You ever go to a fucking country concert? There's always like a Mexican hanging out with black white guys, and they're like, what the fuck is going on there? Yeah. And then you realize like they're racist as fuck, but they like him because he, you know, he's just as racist, just as racist, or things yeah. just like him. You don't want to know what the thing, kind of thoughts are coming to my head. The right Mexican guy is just like, I'm I'm a rubber band, like whatever. <laughs> I do, I bend wherever they want me to. <laughs> whatever you say is like glue. It hits me and you fuck you, though, whatever they say. And then it fucks you, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm very like, I'm chill, dude. Laid back. Yeah, I would I, I would want to live now. I wouldn't want to live in any other time. Yeah, because you're living in it. 
But no. if you can choose, no, I can, not even I, like the future. I would choose now, dude. Yeah, right now is fucking awesome. And people are always like, the world's falling apart and shit. I'm like, dog, I just got a fucking burrito last night that was pretty goddamn yeah, good. Yeah, nothing because you you already because you fucking already took the fucking red pill, dude. Yeah. <laughs> or the blue pill. You fucking you you already know that nothing matters, dude. You yeah, live in, dude. You found the secret, like, hey, dude. Hey, dude, nothing matters. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Fuck, dude. I'm naked. That's a picture of me naked. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. No, nah, but I would, uh, I, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't want to. I mean, I guess I, right here. Like historical nice event, here. though. You got to go. But he wants to go back and see who killed JFK. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to think of it as historical I want to see how big those dongs were on the dinosaurs. What about you? I guess, honestly, dude, I kind of want to, like, I wish I was at the uh, hotel where Selena got killed. Oh, oh, oh that's yeah. a good one, dog. Damn. You think you'd be able to stop her? Yeah, I'll Tackle be a fly going in her fucking. Yeah. Be a fly in her fucking. Uh, Fuck you. Yolanda's fucking gun. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Kills some other guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> my dad, in the, fu- my dad in the future is like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a fire ass movie yeah, plot, yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, she, they're, they're going to let her out and she's going to be an instant celebrity. She's already in my fucking wall, dude. I'm like, Yolanda. Like, that's crazy. Like, okay. they're going to let her out. And, like, <laughs> okay. she's going to get, like, book deal. She's going to get a fucking TV oh, show. Oh, yeah, Yolanda. Dude, uh, did you guys see the documentary of Yolanda? Not uh-huh. yet. Mm-hmm. I already saw it, dude. It was like, it makes you, it, 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 it definitely brought a different light to Selena that I was like, I could see how certain things I'm like, I could see. I could see that being true, you know? But then also, like, the dad, it, they make the dad look like fucking... Yeah, the worst, really? dude. Yeah. yeah, like Joe Jackson, like worse than Joe. Well, yeah, Joe Jackson was pretty bad because he yeah. would beat the shit out of his kids. Yeah. But like, he was <laughs> just very like it made him look like you know what it made him look like. He just was like a fame whore. Mm. Like he just wanted to become famous. Yeah, you go fuck. And actually, the death was one of the things that made him go like, we we fucking made it. Like, oh, wow. and it just like made him look like that. And I'm like, damn, because it's like it's crazy when you they talk about it and they show like what he did mm. and how he quickly got. All the rights and all this, and uh, and we make a movie. We make like he book and like he just is made that shit into a brand. Yeah, and you're like, God damn, this motherfucker. Like, how can you think in a time like? Well, that's very Mexican. He was very, too. yeah. It's very Mexican to do that. Yeah, but at the same time, I was like, damn, this guy was like manager first, father second. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it that's was. That's wild. But so that's also pretty, very Mexican, dude. Also like, very Mexican, yeah. Very Mexican, very Mexican, but it's making people want to like. Be like cancel the dad and it's yeah. like, but you know, but it was it did, it was pretty wild. Like how she knew a bunch of secrets. Like Selena was cheating on her husband, and like she knew that secret. That guy's out there somewhere going like, <laughs> no, he's in the dock and he's just like, oh, you know, that ass, that ass, that ass. Like it's like it was like a, a doctor or whatever. It gave me swag like yeah. I never. They're imagined. saying that she got like plastic surgery and I'm like, what? No way. No. Yeah. Yeah, they're saying that that ass was in, was fake. Well, fuck Yolanda, dog. She's fucking bitch, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can't stand her. It makes you like when I see the doc. It makes you like kind of be like, I could see that going down though. Okay, so yeah, she's got a fake ass. She cheated on her husband. Yeah, you, you killed her. You dude. still don't murder. No, her. yeah, no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They explained how she like it was. It was Selena's gun. <laughs> like what? Make it make sense. Her, Selena's energy made me pull. No, <laughs> nah, it was it was definitely like she deserves to be in jail for a long time. Yeah, I am not gonna take that away from. Her. But I can see how it became like a thing, and then it turned into another thing. Yeah, right. like it was an accident. Like she was there to like kind of like scare her, and then it went from scaring to like, well, I'm already here. I'm already in the hole. Like it's already going bad, and then like she didn't want to like her thing was like I'm trying to explain to her. She's not listening. And she's fucking accusing me of shit. And she pulled her gun out and just kind of like telling her like fucking, you know. And then Selena was like, fuck this. I'm not going to like listen to shit. So she la- leaves and she just panicked and like she just wanted her to stop. So she fucking shot her. And it's like, oh, fuck. Like, mm. and she's like, I can't believe I shot her. So she ran out, obviously. But out of in that moment when I've been in moments where like I'm arguing and like shit could have gone south real quick. There was a weapon involved and I could have shot somebody. And I'm like, <gasps> Like and I would have been like, oh fuck, I didn't mean to shoot him. But in that moment, you stop yeah. thinking about the future, the past. You're in this moment right now, right? And you think that that's the only solution. Mm. And I'm like, oh my god, that's, that's so crazy. Wild. Yeah, She's yeah. She's like, it didn't go down that way. What? I'll tell you what didn't happen. Yeah. Dreaming of you didn't start playing when she died. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a uh, fucking. I'll tell you what's bullshit. <laughs> was the song? <laughs> that wasn't the song. It she was... was singing Bidi Bidi Bam Bam and they put him dreaming of you. Bullshit. It was Do What Diddy by Zap and Roger. Brain. Okay, yeah. <laughs> And that wasn't that was actually a bra. It wasn't a bustier. <laughs> bullshit. A bullshit. That's all I'm saying is bullshit. The movie bullshit. <laughs> and the dad, I fucked Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing bombshells. <laughs> Abraham liked tortas. Yeah. Tortas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Abraham loved tortas, <laughs> and he liked this. Uncensored, <laughs> fucking bombshell. Uncensored. Yeah, uncensored. Yolanda gone wild. Yolanda <laughs> firing <laughs> back. Yeah, firing yeah. back. That and guy you know was what in else? My... <laughs> <laughs> you know. The brother AJ is my son. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. AJ's oh, like, yeah, I'm her son, dude. <laughs> He's just like, yeah. <laughs> I told him and I told him, like, oh, that's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Total bombshell. Will you watch this? <laughs> don't watch it. <laughs> but please watch. I don't know. She's going to have her own like a reality show, dude. I can see that. Yeah, 100%. Living as Yolanda. And then she's just walking in. I can't get donuts no more because people stare. <laughs> people <laughs> throw things at me. Blur her faces. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the biggest crime is the donuts. Yeah. I cannot get them. She's like driving in a car. And you just hear like every day. Door shut. <laughs> it's like. You know, I drive to this donut shop every day, and I just want to get my Boston cream, <laughs> <laughs> my Boston, a couple of glaze, you know, the usual. <laughs> if I'm feeling happy, I get a sprinkle. But they don't let me. But the girl in the counter is obviously a Selena lover. <laughs> <laughs> you see the girl just with big old hoops. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, he's like, is that all? Or what? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> it's gonna be thirty ninety nine. What? I know it's five dollars, but it's thirty ninety nine for you. <laughs> Murder. Fucking Selena Killer. <laughs> I had to move to Alhambra to live with the Chinos. They don't know Selena. <laughs> <The Chinos. laughs> I have to move to an Asian community because <laughs> yeah. they don't really, you know, Chinos don't like. She's all racist. <laughs> Chinitos don't really like Selena, you know. Yeah, so. Chinitos like bad music. She's a Yolanda's racist. Yolanda still racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be a fucking sick ass reality show. I, would I don't. Watch that. I don't really want to watch anything she makes because she, she makes my heart hurt. That's why. Oh come on, dude. Dude, I remember when I was a kid. <laughs> My dumbass thought that Selena predicted her death because she's saying like, "Como la flor con tan no 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 it's like como la ay 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 como me duele and I was like oh that was the gunshot she's like ay ay <laughs> yeah like she's telling us like she's gonna get shot so I might no I thought like she like made that after her death and I'm like how are you gonna make so she's dead yeah and then I was like maybe she predicted her death but it was a big deal how old were you when when that came out what year was it. Uh, 1996? I wasn't I born yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you weren't born yet? Wait, when was Selena's death? 96, 95-ish. Siri, when was Selena's death? <laughs> Selena Gomez died. <laughs> 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 1995. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wasn't even born yet. How old are you, dude? Wait, wait, when, when was your birthday, dude? 2003. 2003? Yeah. Yeah, this fool didn't even witness 9-11. Oh, my God. Yeah, you no. weren't even 9-11? No, I wasn't even there for 9-11. Holy sh... That's what I'm Shit. saying. Shit. Oh, my God, dude. You're, you're one of fucking... You're a fucking... Little Einstein's babies. It's people like him that... The little fucking show, Little, little Einstein's. This yeah. Is, this is Gen my Z, little brother, right? dude. Yeah. Gen Z, yeah. Gen the Z. people in Gen Z are making fucked up videos about shit that we took real seriously. Yeah, <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? See. You weren't there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't, yeah, matter. doesn't matter, <laughs> dude. dude. Were you, were you uh, 9-11 too or no? I think you were, she was born during... Like, she was born, but like... What year like, were you born? You were oh, born okay. in 2000. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, she was like probably like five months old. <sighs> she's like, what, she's, uh, uh, what are everybody crying about? <laughs> <laughs> this fool was like, I was six years old during the housing crisis. Oh, my God. That's dude. my biggest regret. And that was not having enough capital Money. to buy a house. <laughs> to buy property, dude. To buy a house oh, in 2008. Know, right? yeah. When you think back, I'm like, oh, I should have fucking 
Should have bought a house in 2008. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was 18. Was 18. I'm like, shit, rub rubbery. <laughs> no, but it pisses me off Gen Z making fucked up videos about like 9 11 and shit because they didn't experience it. I don't care if somebody makes a joke about it or whatever. But like, fuck it, somebody will have a birthday kick of Twin Towers and then be like, okay, time to blow out the candle. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. No, let me tell you, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, God, dude. See that? You saw that look on his face? Yeah, yeah. That's what he I'm was excited. He's like, oh, like, sick. Double tap. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, I should have did that for my birthday. That yeah. should have been the cake I got. Costume dude. party. Everyone's dressed up like planes. I'm like, oh, pilots. The they're all yeah. pilots. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, no, that's terrible, dude. What were you in 9 11? Where, where were you? Bro, I remember the whole day I was. Fucking sixth grade. You were fucking in sixth grade. I was yeah. fucking in sixth grade. I was fucking, and then I was like, one second. <laughs> you were not in sixth grade. You were in fifth grade. Oh, sixth. You were in fifth grade. Sixth grade. No, I, Gerardo, I, you were in fifth grade. Bro, I remember 9 11, dog. I was in sixth grade. How old were you? What year were you born? 1990. Oh, wait, wait, what day were you born? What, what month were you born? October. Yeah, dude, no, there's no way. No, you were in the sixth grade, dude. Because what grade were you in? I was eighty. I was born in eighty nine. I was in sixth grade. I was in sixth grade. Maybe oh, I'm no, older than I'm you. Younger. I'm I, I, my whole life. I've been the youngest guy in school. Okay. Oh, well, it's called being back. smart. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wait, how does that work? No, I don't know why. But like, I graduated at seventeen. Like from high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, You're one like of those weird, weird guys. Like, like a weird like. Oh, you were in that weird fucking mix. Yeah. So we're technically. My the mom same and dad age, were like, yeah. "Get him the fuck out the house." Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I guess yeah, you're right. It was yeah, either that or you got held back. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was supposed to get held back, and thank God that's why I love George Bush, dude. <laughs> He did 9-11, but let me tell you, you know what else he did? He fucking got me to <laughs> no pass. The no child left behind was real, dog. Yeah. I was a part of that kid. Do you know what that is? No. All right, listen here, youngsters. Uh, George Bush made this law called No Kids Left Behind, which means, like, if you're not smart enough, you can't be left behind. You're still going to go to the next grade. Yeah. Like, even if you're fucking re- Stupid, ridiculous. yeah, ridiculous. yeah, the R word, almost, yeah. All right, <laughs> even if you're over there fucking licking the back ends of pencils and yeah. just fucking, you know, sniffing markers, sniffing markers and shit, you know, yeah, you're still going to the next grade. And then fifth grade, I was supposed to fail. I had literally a zero. My teacher said that like, you failed everything we, every paper we gave you, you have failed. Nothing was right ever. Wow, you're a zero kid. That's like that Chris Rock joke. What's two yeah. plus two? Jello. Jello. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. I don't like the way she laughed, but it's okay. Um, she wasn't paying attention this whole time. You talk about t- y'all. You're dumb. She's like, <laughs> she's, she's like, ah, uh, you're re no, um, ridiculous, ridiculous. So, yeah. So then I was devastated because I remember I was just a class clown, but I remember I was devastated, dude. I was crying. I remember you ever like. Been so sad that you forget, and then you're like happy again, and you're like, "Wait, what was I sad about?" And then mm-hmm. you think back, you're like, "Fuck!" And now you're sad all over again. It was like that. I wake up and be like, "Was that a dream?" And they're like, "No, that's reality." And you're like, "Son, mm-hmm. you're still sad. You're like just devastated." Yeah, I'm know. like, I'm not gonna see my friends. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a whole. My mom, well, she's the worst too. She made a <laughs> fucking word. Mijo, pero mira, it might be a, a bendición. Yeah, a blessing. A blessing because you can have new friends. I don't want new <laughs> friends. I want my old friends. And I was just like, dude, that's going to be embarrassing. And then uh, the teacher was like, actually, she called my mom. It's was like, actually, the law passed. And, like, it's up to you. You get to say the last word. You can say, hey, I want my kid back or I want my kid to go forward. And the teacher's like, what would you want him to do? I'm telling you right now, if he doesn't. Get held back. He's gonna struggle for the rest of his life, and he's not gonna. He's gonna hang out with his friends and keep doing it. And my mom's like, oh, "Okay, I want him to go to the next grade." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, baby." <laughs> I looked at fucking George Bush, and I'm just like, <laughs> "Mission accomplished." Mission accomplished. <laughs> fucking. And then he couldn't read a book, and I'm like, "I feel you, brother." Now, now that's why we uh, we understand each other. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. I, you know how coro- like, I don't know if you know this, but like right now, there's like a a uh, huge thing about kids missing school now because of coronavirus and mm. stuff like that. And so there's definitely just like holes in the brain. 
for kids now. I can see that. They're going to be yeah. walking around one day and be like, I love the story you just told, but what is that word, the? You kept using it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I mean? what do you mean by that? Policy. What does that mean? Policy. What is What's that? Is? Policy. Yeah. Mean? It's crazy. You yeah. Have third graders not being able to read. Yeah. I still don't know how to read, so watch your mouth, dude. You're dyslexic. That's a difference. It's it's hard. It's hard for me. To, it really is hard for me to read. <laughs> look at it. He's like, understand. Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah, yeah. Dumb. When I look at something, dude, a paper, and I'm just like, my brain is like, what? It's like we're trying to read, and the, the, letters, yeah. the letters look like that on the screen. They're moving all over the place. <laughs> like, uh. But, yeah. That's why whenever I show him a shirt, he just starts laughing. He thinks that all shirts are just funny. He's like, oh, that's funny. Come on. Ha! <laughs> it's just dead to us all. I'm like, I'm like, it's uh, an RIP shirt. Dude. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Uh, but when I was in robotics, dude, I was the first one to finish. I was the first. I, I didn't even look at the instructions. I could figure it out. I'm like. <laughs> your stomach is like, that's that. a lie. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, is- you're right. That's what my girl hates when I like, buy like. Something like you have to build it. Yeah. I don't even look at the instructions. I already He's, know. Yeah, because I already know what tools go where, and I'm like, I know what this is used for. I know what this screws for. Uh, and my girl's like, you gotta read the fucking manual. I'm like, fuck that manual. <laughs> Takes me five hours, but. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> And you get pissed. Yeah, you get pissed. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Where's the fucking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. not even. Where's the manual? Why don't they tell you how to fix this thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what fucking Mexicans do. Yo, have you ever like? Have you ever helped your parents out with something and like you totally fuck? It was your fault. They fuck. You fucked it up. Yes. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Dude, what was it? Wait, repeat the question. No, oh, you see this guy. He's fucking dude, the, the hole in the brain. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> an autistic guy, dude. I'm talking about like, have you ever helped them with a project and then? You were like supposed to help, but then you ended up fucking it up. You don't remember nothing. No, I'm a perfect child. You're a perfect child. Yeah, I remember. For a little, I remember my dad made me hold the screws. I remember this is one screw that was very important because it was like this long screw that holds everything in the car. He's like, "Thank you, not be able." He told me like three times, "Don't lose this one, lose all of them, but this one." But to get another one, you got to go to the thing. So don't lose it. Okay. I matter of fact, I leave it right there. I don't care. I don't care. All right. Whatever. <laughs> yelling. I'm fucking playing soccer, dude. My dad, I'm like, my dad put it right there. Don't, don't even touch it. But I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> and he's under the car. You know, work out shit. So I'm bored. And then my, whenever my dad needs me to get something, I'll stop playing soccer. And I'll just, you know, so I'm kicking the ball up in the air, fucking. You know, I'm playing it, and then in one of those, I fucking kicked the wall. Boom, where that little thing was. I fucking fell, dude. Bing. And I'm now, it's in the dirt, the grass, and I'm like, oh. So now, now I'm looking for it, dude. And then I'm ripping the dirt, because then my dad's like, hey, what are, you, what are you doing? I was like, no, I'm just cleaning the grass. <laughs> <laughs> and I was all dirty face. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, clean it. Clean it and throw it in the trash. And I'm like, right, so Don't the touch fucking, the screw. I'm throwing it in the trash, the grass, and I'm just like, me, I'm like, I'm going to clean the grass. It's going to, you know, not be able to see. Mm. But then I couldn't find it. And I'm like, now I'm panicking. And I'm like, oh, shit. So now I'm moving the dirt. And I'm like, did I just hit it under the dirt? And I'm like, or was it in the grass and I threw it away? It disappeared, dude. And I fucking couldn't find it. And my dad's like, okay, all right. Dame el tornillo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the fact that I, dude, you had to, like, make a face, like, you're surprised too. Like, what? It was. <laughs> Where is that screw? I told you to watch. And I'm like, I, honestly, dude, I don't know. <laughs> dude, the face that you had to make it like, like I'm, I'm shocked. Dude. This is news to me too. It was dude. right there, dude. It was right. And then I was a kid, so I didn't know how to lie good. So I was like. Maybe like a bird came. <laughs> Dad, hear me out. Like, maybe a bird thought it was a worm or something. Because in the sun, it could look like a worm. <laughs> And my dad, for a second, for a second, he starts thinking about it. <laughs> Go on, chica! <laughs> Just for a second, I had him. He's like, no, I don't think those are <laughs> I'm trying to trick my mind. My friend said that happened to his son. <laughs> but that's like, oh, where, where? No, chica, no, no. A bird did not grab that oh. screw. Why are you cleaning the grass? 
Oh, they fucking hits me, dude. <laughs> yep. It's like crying, and my mom's like, "Why did I just talk to him?" And you know, you make it more than what it was. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you see, he's okay. He's okay. And you're wishing the worst. Right? I remember my dad kicked me on the side. He's like, Met the pilot, throw fucking a kick, dude. And I'm laying down crying, going, like, I wish something broke so I could so you can feel bad. <laughs> like, I'm praying. I'm like, fuck, I wish I broke it, dude. I'm fucking <laughs> pray. <laughs> and we, he comes back in here and be like, oh, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to hit you. I just want some type of sympathy. I was like, please break, God, please just break my fucking leg, dude. <laughs> just so he can fucking feel sorry for himself. So oh he can realize God. it hurts. <laughs> It was a bird. <laughs> it was a bird. Yeah, dude, you ended up going back to the store and buying one. And then later, like a week later, we found it. And Don't lie to me, girl. <laughs> maybe he put it back. He's still with the <laughs> fucking bird. <laughs> but just say, maybe he put it back. <laughs> you don't think. <laughs> it's so funny. That's the thing about helping your dad do when you're a kid. Yeah. Is that they think, that, you know how you get that face about you as a kid, like, oh, I don't want to, but it's because they're yelling at you, dog. Yeah. And then, but they yeah. think it's because you don't want to make a cabinet. And you're like, you know, and then no. so they go, like, vete a tu pinche fucking uh, Inside, cuarto. Yeah, the cuarto, yeah. And like, okay, fine, okay, this is my chance. And dip out. They'll, like, my dad yelled at me about a Phillips screwdriver once when I was a kid, like a fucking, I don't know if I was even in school yet. And I was oh like, my what? God. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst because it's like, bro, like you never taught me. What you're you making mean. the experience not fun. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. And it's like you act like you weren't a kid and then you didn't get yelled at. I think one of the reasons why it sucked, like working with your parents and building something, was because uh, you never used the power tools. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. you just you were just you're holding there, something. Flashlight. Yeah, you were holding yeah. something. I remember sometimes I would fucking hold something. And my dad's like, hold it, but gently. Don't put pressure porque I just need you to hold it. Come on, just hold it. I'm like, all right. And in my mind, I'm like, what? Like, you know, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm holding everything. And my dad was like, Rrr. don't put pressure because you're moving it. You're slanting it. It's curving the fucking screw. All right. And, it's fucking, and now he leaves and goes look for his tools. And I'm just like, fuck. Yeah. I'm holding it, knowing that you can just let it go. Or sometimes when you let it go, you think like, oh, he's got it. And then. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's good. Like you put, like I saw him put two screws, but you didn't know. Like you need to choose over here, <laughs> so that's why you're holding it. So now it's like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking the wall. Now it's a whole ching out. Well, I thought he had screws. <laughs> now we got to put khaking and a uh, whole ordeal. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the thing about like. working with your parents, dude. It's like, yeah, they need to be more vocal. Mm. I remember. Well, I'll tell this one story before we leave. I remember we had a dog, dude, and he hated this dog. And the dog name was Blackie. It's not because it's black. He hated it. It's a popular name for Mexicans. Yeah. Blackie. Blackie. It was a little fucking dog. But it was a dog that was like a stray. Like it was like a. We just ended up like walking our dog. Mm. The one that we liked. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog ended up just like following us. And my mom, my sister. Ay, pobrecito. And my dad's like. Get the. Hey. Saca ese pinche perro. And my uncle hated the dog even more, dude. The dog was like. He hated dogs, so, mm. so they're building an extra room in the back, and then they're saying we want we don't want the dogs near us. So the dog goes. I remember the dog just goes inside. Blackie, <laughs> I remember I was like I was trying to grab him, and I'm like no, no, no. And he went inside, and I'm like, well, whatever happens, right whatever happens, happens. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, dude, I just hear my uncle just go, hey, chinga about it, bitch, <laughs> metal, and then you just see a fucking the dog just flying across. <laughs> I swear to God, they <laughs> chucked the shit out of the dog, dude. The dog just went flying. I remember I was standing by the door and just shoom, and I was like, "No way, that could have been." It. And it was the <laughs> fucking across the fucking uh, the backyard. Floor. Yeah, you just see it land like. <laughs> 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 Oh fuck, dude. I thought that was now I think it was so funny at the time I was like, that's so fucked up. Yeah. You see the poor dog just limping like fucking asshole. Yeah. And then it like left and stayed at our neighbor's house and they ended up keeping it. Oh good. Yeah, yeah. I was like, thank God. I was like, yeah, get rid of the dog. Yeah. You called him Blackie? <laughs> <laughs> the dog was mean though It would bite the shit Out of our ankles and shit We'll ride our bikes And then he was just like Rah! I'm like Oh fuck dude oh, chill, dog. <laughs> This guy's fucking crazy dude it's Crazy dog. Your dad What <laughs> Your dad's like I like the dog now <laughs> He's like Biting yeah, your ankles Yeah Better bite you I like him He's a good, good pet Yeah He's a good dog 
Well, thank you for well, having me, dude. Yeah, dude, it was fucking fun, dude. We went, we we took us on a weird trip. Yeah, you brought us back. We learned a lot about you. Uh, you can catch Gerardo. Or follow Gerardo at Gerardo Comedy. Right in the bottom. G e r o c o m e d y. He's gonna be doing some dates with me. Uh, make sure to follow. He has a podcast. You want to promote your podcast? Uh, Raccoon Tweeties. I like it, dude. It's a fun podcast. Yeah. It's a cool hang. Just two dudes just having a good old time. Yep. Uh, make sure to check them out. Uh, funny, funny guy. He's my feature. He's gonna be on the roll with me. So if you ever come to my dates, you're gonna be seeing this guy. Um, yeah, please send him a message. Tell him what you liked. Any stories? And yeah, Evan, where can we find you at? Uh, not Evan Leo, as usual. These fucking kids. Don't follow me ever. <laughs> like, hey, don't even it? subscribe to me, dude. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, Evan Leo, follow me or don't. Whatever. Or don't. Whatever. It's whatever. It's not whatever. even Evan Leo. Yeah. It's not Evan Leo. So. so it's not even me. Right. It's somebody else. It's not even me. So, because guess what? It don't matter. <laughs> yeah. It's whatever. Nothing yeah. matters, really. Follow Anyways. me. Dude, don't. I don't give a shit, dude. <laughs> He's a, I don't give a shit. <laughs> she was like, what the fuck, dude? All right, man. Uh, that is the episode. Thank you so much. Later. Till next time. Peace.